and welcome back to another Bob Blast. Hi, I'm Bob Burridge. Have you ever gone into your studio all set to paint? You, you really want to paint, but you pretty much don't have an idea what to paint today. Or you're burned out from doing the landscapes or the seascapes or the, the bouquet of flowers or, or the pet portraits or whatever. You, you've done a lot of them and you're kind of burned out doing them. Or you need some time out. You need a break. You need a shift, right? Here's what I do just to do something completely, completely different is I do shapes. I do a whole series on shapes, whether they're circles or triangles or squares. And I cut them out with, of black pieces of paper. And I just start working around with no theme. You know, I always talk about have a theme and have a title. On this time, this is completely my time out time. Right, and I come in and I just kind of take pieces of paper and glue them down and play with composition. All right, so I don't have a theme other than let's play with composition. Let me show you some of the things I'm going to be doing. So I do have my paper. This is my 300 pound Kilimanjaro quarter sheet. Um, it takes a beating. That's why I like the 300 pound because I, I add a lot of stuff to it and it stays absolutely flat. So that's a big secret there. Okay. Now, what I'm going to be using will be black tissue paper. I'm not worried about the pH or, or the acid-free or anything like that because I will be finishing off my art piece in a UV varnish. More about that later. So this one, since it's about shapes, I, I'm gonna start off with just, well today, round shapes things that are round, and I want to play with that, and I will get into the composition. The other things I have on my table here is, of course, my cutting blades. This is a number 11 X-Acto blade. We all love those things. Surgically sharp, it'll cut your finger off, but it's fantastic blades. And then we have the throwaway kind, all right? And my wide brush, this is a, about a two-inch wide brush, and it's for my glue. Okay, it's an acrylic brush. Uh, sometimes I will use this brayer. You can see I've used it a lot. <laughs> My brown tape, just to hold the paper down sometimes. This is a wonderful tool here. This is called a catalyst, uh, and they come in different shapes. It's like a silicone, and I use it to scrape and get air bubbles out of some of my paper. And what's really nice, nothing sticks to it. Nothing sticks to it, so all the glue after it dries, it just peels right off again. Reuse it. They have different uh, lines here. This one's a straight one. Some of them have serrated. Okay. And uh, for those of you who like to do the designing and things like that with scrapers, it's a great tool. But I use it mostly to, to get the air bubbles out on, from underneath the... Uh, the black paper, all right? My glue is a gel medium. Everybody makes a gel medium. It's the only glue I use. It's fantastic. It's all acrylic. It all sticks, sticks together. You know, and of course, big buckets of water. I'm ready to go and start having a great time. Here we go. So let me show you how I get started working with shapes. So today, we're gonna to be working with round things. It could be circles, ovals, round things. Here we go. This is playtime. Remember, I don't have a theme, I don't have a subject matter. I'm just goofing around and letting my brain just bounce all over the place. So the glue I use is a gel medium. I use lots of it. I put it over the entire surface. I don't do uh, collage work where you put glue on the, and then stick it down. No, I don't do, I just make sure this surface is incredibly sticky. And there we go, a lot of glue. 
some of you will say, well, I get air bubbles. It's because you probably didn't use enough glue. So, it's all the, when I say glue, I really mean pure acrylic. All right, here we go. I'm just gonna start. Shapes. Now I start from the center here, push it into the glue, into the gel medium. Pushing all that glue out. So I'm putting glue on top of it, really embedding it. This is black tissue paper. It's not very expensive stuff. So here I'm just scraping off some of the excess glue on the top and really embedding it into, into the surface. All right, I'm gonna continue on. I like the tension. You see, I was able to just stick it down anywhere I want to because it's all wet. It's fun. Okay, let's keep it wet up in here. I have another small, again, round things. I like the dynamics. Oh, this is nice. I put some more glue in the top. Oh, this large one, this is dying to be a Team player here. Let me see. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. I love the tension. I like the overlap. See, I, I don't do a whole lot of busy work in between all of this. You know, putting the glue down and reaching over here. So I'm, I can kind of respond quickly because the glue's already down. And I don't second guess myself. That's kind of an important part, too. Here I am just scraping off excess. Now this black paper is not really archival quality. It's really cheap tissue paper. You know, the stuff you see around Halloween time. So you have to be somewhat gentle or it will start to fall apart. Uh, let's do some of these. Oh, here's a great shape too. Let's see. Oh yeah. This looks like a, a bunch of falling rocks. I like this. Ooh, I like this. Adding more glue. I like the tension. I like the action. Oh yeah. It looks like falling rocks. Oh boy. Let me get one more shape. Oh yeah, this is right down here. Now what's really interesting is uh, a focal point. You would think it'd be here, but that one's just screaming at me. <laughs> it wants, wants to be the focal point. Hmm. Uh, here we go. I also made these. I make my own collage paper, originals, and then I, I take them to a copy shop. Wow. And make black and white copies. It's where it's going to be. I don't know if I like that. So I'm going to cover it up. <laughs> oh, it's one of these shapes. Looks like eyeballs. I don't like it. There you go. I'm happier now. <laughs> it's a good example. If, it, if it's not working, it's not working. Change it. All right. Yeah, I like how it actually brings my eye back up here to the focal point, even though the, there's a lot of activity going on in here. So that's how I start off. Pretty simple, not a really uh, cerebral concept here. It's just playing again. It's like color and design, like back in art school. That's great fun. So don't deny yourself this kind of play. Let me show you 
the larger pieces with color. And so here it is. I just turned it around. I like it this way so much better. So you practice with just big black shapes. They can be colorful. Speaking of color, I worked larger this way too. So I'm working on a series of these are canvases. You know, they really take a beating. And so this is tissue paper, the same stuff I've been doing, and acrylic paint. So I wanted to do a whole series based on circles and round things, but introducing a little bit of color, more monochromatic on this one. All right, it's gonna be pretty exciting to be working this way for a while, large also. This one I'm playing again from uh, around with my color wheel, where this is the dominant color, it's bluish, and of course there's your focal point, but I'm still playing around with these big donut shapes, which I kind of like, so they're not just big black holes Initially, they were just big black holes when I was putting the tissue paper down. And then when I did the background color that I added in here, to, it opened it up a little bit more. I think I love the, the playfulness of it. You know, things were just bouncing around. I just kind of like that. It was fun to see. Now, let's try something a little on a gentler side. I wanted to see if I could do the whole thing in mostly neutrals and still have the same impact. So this one is called cul-de-sac. Or I changed my mind. I haven't figured out which one it is yet right now. Or they went that away. Anyway, a good, again, a big piece of black uh, paper glued down, and I'm working with all neutrals on this one. So and this is more of a quieter one as opposed to some of these more graphic pieces. I also work on these 12 by 12 canvases, still working as a warm up practice piece. I just love working this and playing with different kinds of textures, just really beating up the whole canvas. And they're pretty good canvases. So they take a beating, they don't start warping on me. I hope you enjoyed this little journey here in working with just shapes. So you try it and the next one, try them with triangles and squares and circles. It's great fun, especially when you're kind of burned out doing the same old, same old, same old thing. It's a great way to kind of, you know, get your creativity juices flowing again. Hey, I'll see you on the next Bob Blast.